Hi, CBS Casting and Jeff. Uh, my name is Megan, and this is my second application. I put in my first application when I was 19. Now at 21, I'm putting in another one. Um, and yeah, after watching your show, Jeff, for like all the seasons you've had, I watched almost every single season, and you don't have any contestant named Megan. And I think Megan is a pretty common name, and so let me get on the show, put a name out there for Megan. Um, so yeah, I am one of nine. I am from a family of 11 and we grew up watching your show all the time, Jeff. Like it was our Wednesday night plan to sit and watch Survivor. If anyone talked during the show, they were screamed at. If we somehow were watching an episode late and you, we came home and found a spoiler from school, you would literally be killed if you gave the spoiler. Um, very loyal fans and... Yeah, I just think that I would be such a fine component to the show. Um, I'm young, and Jeff, let me tell you, I really have no idea what I'm doing with my life. Um, I'm majoring in journalism, but I don't really know how I feel about it. I don't really know where I want to go with it. Um, and so I'm just kind of lost at this point in my life. I'm entering my senior year of college and have not gone out of the country at all. I haven't really done anything too crazy and so I just think it's what I need in my life to go and be on Survivor um and I honestly think I would be pretty good at the game um I'm pretty athletic I grew up obviously with eight other siblings it's always been rough you always had to fight for your spot for anything um I played a lot of sports growing up volleyball cross country softball and basketball um, I just ran a marathon, so I know how to keep the endurance and how to keep things going. Um, and I think that's kind of how Survivor is like. Like, the beginning of the marathon is kind of easy. You're just running into it, um, pre-merge, you're just with your team. Like, you just can't be stupid to not get voted out. Um, and then kind of in the middle, you hit the merge, and that's kind of when you're starting to feel the marathon a little bit. Um, uh, but you just gotta be smart, keep going. And then the end is where it just gets horrible, like at the end of a marathon, um, just crazy, constant chaos, we just gotta keep going. And so I think it'd be pretty fun to watch. Um, I spend the first part of the game just playing kind of low key. And then once I hit the merge, at that point I'd wanna either go big or go home. And so I think I'd just be a fun player to watch. I think I would give every challenge a run for its money. Um, I am a journalist, so I'm really good with speaking with people. I grew up, obviously, with so much people constantly around me, so I'm pretty good at lying, if that sounds bad, but also just, like, talking with people, building connections, getting people to trust me, um, and so I'd be good socially, I'd be good physically, and then just kind of, like, living it, being the game, I think I'm pretty good strat strategist, um, I love doing puzzles, I love reading, I love doing all that stuff, so I'm constantly doing stuff with my mind, getting my mind working, and so, yeah, not only do you not have a Megan on the show, but I would be fun to watch, I'd be good with all the components, and Jeff, also, like, if it could happen where I could get kind of like a Boston Rob Amber romance in my life, I'd be okay with that, <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I'm young, I don't really know what I'm doing with my life, and I just think being on Survivor would be a great adventure of my life, and I also think I would just be really fun and bring a lot to the show. So, I love you, Jeff. Love the show. Get a Megan on there, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future about wanting me and having future interviews and everything, and... Can't wait to be on that island.